Hi everyone, this is DokiPen and welcome to the next video on module creation and in this video I'll show you how you can set up a module from scratch by setting up all the files manually and also how we can set up uh, multiple modules within the same project. So in the last uh, video I just went the easy way of using the editor to add the code to the project and you know for most cases that's going to be enough for you and you won't need to but just in case you have a bit of more bit of a more complicated setup then um you know this is uh, how you'd go about setting up mul multiple modules so we're just going to create a new project and again we're just going to create a um a blank third person project and I'll name this um, module create and again this is just to show you that you can start with a blueprint project and add C++, add C++ code to it anytime you want and it shouldn't really matter so I'll just bring up some notes so that I can kind of just go through these one by one um, yeah, in the last video, I kind of just mentioned that modules are just, you know, it's a collection of C++ classes all wrapped up into one package that the engine can load in one go. And um, it's just a way to, to keep everything organized. Um, the engine itself is actually made up of multiple modules. So the, um, the sort of core engine gameplay framework is a module. The UI is, is a module. Um, so, okay, let's uh, go back to our notes. So, um, the Unreal build tool is a separate program and it's responsible for um, compiling code, basically. It can look through a project structure and compile the code for various um, architectures and even compile code for use within the editor. So um, that's what um, under the hood is is um, what Visual Studio is using to compile the code. Um, so we saw in the last video also the um, a, a brief look at the um, the project structure for um, a, um, a C plus plus project. Um, so we had the U project. We had all our standard. Um, content and uh, build files that any project would have um, but it also had that source folder and by default this won't be there so what you can do is um, create it manually and uh, when the Unreal build tool needs to build code this is where it's going to look so yeah, in my notes here we've got um, yeah, all the standard stuff we've got our U project file and our source folder so let's go within the source folder and at the moment it's just blank so what we need to put in here is we need to, we need to put a um, a folder which is where all our module code is going to be saved and we can actually name this module anything we want when the editor creates a module for you it creates it as the set with the same name as the project so here we're going to call it something different we'll just call it um, collection collection mod or collection module because you can um, yeah name it more descriptively for your needs and so we're also going to need a um, a a build file which is what the unreal build tool needs to needs to know it, well this contains all the information that the unreal build tool will need to know to be able to build the module so this is just going to be a um, a text file so we can just create a new text file and we will call it I think it needs to be named um, a certain thing let me just check on my notes and this needs to be named the same as your module just a word of warning this video is probably really boring but um you know it's kind of just what's necessary to get things set up manually so if this is what interests you then stick with it if it doesn't interest you just stick with the previous videos way of doing things and 
and you can ignore this. But anyway, this um, should be called um, the name of the module dot target dot cs. And yeah, the Unreal Build tool will look at this file, and within it will be some information that it needs to know how to build. So we'll go through and fill this out soon. And then it actually needs two of these. This file will be needed to build the code for the game when it gets released for whatever target platform it's going to be on, whether it's on PC or Xbox or whatever. Um, but to actually run the code in the editor while we're making the game, we also need to have um, a duplicate of this and we need to rename it the same but with editor after the um, module name. And uh, for, e for each of these, the Unreal Build tool will um, compile some code. So let's now look into the module folder. And again, there's nothing in here. Um, we need to create a, um, a new, another text document. Again, this is another build file. Um, and this one, let me just check my notes, needs to be called the name of the module, which is collection module dot build with a capital B dot CS and this um, again it's going to contain, contain information that Unreal build tool needs to build this specific module whereas the one above is um, it just lets Unreal build tool know that there is a module to create so also within here we're going to need to create um, an actual code file so we need to create a header for the um, for the module, and again this is going to be called this, the name of the module, and this is a C++ header file, and we also need the actual um, C++ implementation file, which is this, the name of the module .cpp. So let's go through and start to fill some of these in with uh, what it needs to compile. Okay, so let's start with the editing of this um, um, first build file. So we're just going to open that in a text editor. And the way that uh, this works is that this is a C-sharp file. So the Unreal Build tool is a C-sharp program, and it's going to look for these files so that it can start um, knowing how to build the code. So the first thing it needs is we need to tell the C sharp um, we need to tell the Unreal build tool that we are using the build tool so that we can access functions within that. So we just say Unreal build tool semicolon and just make that a bit bigger so that we can see. And the next thing we need to declare is that we are using um, system dot collections dot generic and this is um, just some data containers that we can uh, use to populate data with so we need to declare a class and this is a public class and the name of this class has to be the name of your project so in this case, the name of the project is um, module creation or module create, if I remember correctly. Let me just double check. Yeah, module create. So we call it module create, and then we need to append to the end of this name with the uh, word target. So it's all one word, module create target. And this is going to be inheriting from a existing um, class that we're overriding. So, um, not overriding, just inheriting from, and we will override some functions. So this is um, a target rules class. So we'll start with a body, and then we're going to declare the constructor. So this is the copy and paste to start the constructor. 
And this is going to get past a data type from the Unreal build tool. Uh, it's called uh, target info, and we'll just uh, name that target. And we'll start the body of this constructor. I'd just like to line up my curly braces. And within the constructor, all we're doing is we're um, telling the Unreal build tool what type of uh, module this is, whether it's to be compiled for the game or whether it's to be co compiled for the editor, because we're going to be need to be um, compiling both so they, so they can just generate the code for running on the device or running in the editor while we're making the game. So we're going to be telling that the uh, type of uh, module this is is one that is for the game and the game. We're going to be doing this for the, for the editor one as well. So we've made the constructor and now we need to override a function that exists within the target rules class. So this is a public function and we need to add the override keyword just for, so we know we're overriding it. Um, it's a void return type and the name of the function is called setup binaries. And this gets past three arguments. And the first one is another of those target info data types, which um, we're not going to be using, but um, it's what gets passed to this function. So we need to match the, um, the function arguments. And then we're going to be given a list. And in this list, it's going to be a um, a list of these UE build binary configuration data types. There must be some kind of struct that um, is meant to be filled with um, information, which we're not actually going to be using in this file because we don't actually need it just yet um, to get a basic module up and running. But um, it needs to be there in the um, in the function when it gets called. And the next thing is, did I add a, nope, I need to add a comma. And the last thing that gets called is a, a list, just a, a, you know, a generic list, which is why we added in this um, collections uh, using declaration up here, so that we can use this um, list data type. And this is just a list of um, string objects and this is called out extra module names and we are actually going to be using um, this that gets passed into this function so um, we are going to start the function body and we're just going to be filling in some uh, strings into this um, into this list so we're just going to use the uh, add ranges utility function and we're going to generate a new string list and we're going to be initializing that so we'll initialize that with um, a string and that string is going to be the name of our module so we called it collection module and we shall end that line with a semicolon so um, just to recap, we've created a C# -sharp class that inherits from target rules. We've in the constructor, we've told the Unreal build tool that we're going to be comp compiling for um, a game type, and we've overridden this setup binaries function, which gets past this list of strings, which we've then populated with um, the name of the module that we want to uh, to uh, compile, and this lets the Unreal build tool know to look into a folder um, that's named with this name and it will start building it. So hopefully that's all we need um, for this file and in the next video I'm going to be showing you how to set up the build file in the module folder. Thanks for watching, bye!